take on the turkey challenge? What the heck is that thing? Oh, yes, there was a new update. First of all, what's inside this thing right here? Limited time skin returns, pick and mix bundles. And then we also have a turkey. In the turkey, we got different things. And we can fight the turkey boss. In today's video, we're going to be checking out all the new stuff and also fighting the turkey boss. Ooh, they've changed the layout of stuff. Now we can change the time of day. Day. Also, something down here says new. Click on it. Oh, landscape. <gasps> We've got stuff we can add to the maps now. We also have new backgrounds. Flame, snow, Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> we can also put down a bunch of different weird fruits and veggies. But guys, here is what looks the most amazing. Let's change the background to flame in a volcano world and change the ground to lava we can literally fight in a volcano we also have a desert and ice map and then thanksgiving grounds looks like it's a nice little harvest area over here you can also change and have multiple teams now before we do our epic battle we need to go fight the turkey boss <laughs> Here is the turkey boss. It's a plate of turkey covered with flamethrowers, mini guns, and rockets. How in the world are we supposed to beat this thing? I think we use the method of protecting and armoring up a little tiny box. So we need some armor, first of all. As long as we stay back away from those flamethrowers, I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and let's get a weapon on here when we just not the weapon we want we want this weapon let's do some missiles i don't know if this is gonna work guys this could totally fail most likely it's going to but we're gonna try it at least and see if we can beat this thing we need a little bit more armor i think let's do another let's do another one of these nope we can't do another one of those let's do is that the cheapest one no we can do this boom there we go start the battle hopefully it wins you mm -hmm. nope i instantly lost <laughs> dang it let's go with the piranha and let's weaponize him first sweet armor him up i think we should i think we need to armor up whatever we're gonna fight with because a couple blasts from that thing and i want what i want to do is i want to put a jet booster on this thing maybe even a couple jet boosters so that way he just runs away and things can't touch him that's my hope at least we'll find out if that's even going to happen i forgot i can do as many of these as i want which might actually help us out might protect us overall from getting a hit <laughs> get up go away there we go no, he died instantly again. Dang it. Oh, yeah, and he got flamethrowered. What if I make kind of like a shield, in a sense? If I have some kind of outward-facing pole or something, and then we can slap some armor on it. Something like this? Nope, that's not what I want. Something like this to protect him from getting hit, maybe? I don't actually know. We've used, I've used so much so much money already that's not gonna that's not gonna be good and then he's completely exposed on the side why would this go up and down like the other one did i need this to go up and down i have no idea if any of my actual ideas are gonna work oh that seemed to seem to work a little bit better making a shield might be the way to go <gasps> you guys we have a count limit of 10 i can put down a ton of units maybe we just do it like this 1440 let's see if this works Will this work? Just, oh my goodness, look at the damage I'm doing. I think we found the solution. Use a bunch of scourges and just annihilate them over time. Sweet. We got to try something else. Yeah, I got a dragon. I got some scourges. I got the hammer throwing dude. We'll see if we can. Oh, we're going to take him out. We might. It might cost us a couple tickets, but we're definitely going to defeat this turkey. Just using scourges is the way to go. It's going to take a couple tickets, but his initial attack does a ton of damage. Oh, this could be it. Come on, Scourgey boy. You're so close. Couple more hits. Oh, my gosh. Is he going to die before I... Look at it. He's got a sliver of HP left. Okay. That that seemed to work. We're almost done with it. I just want to know what happens after we beat the turkey. Do we get to play with the turkey? Please tell me that we get to play with the turkey. Here we go. We're about to win this battle. 
This is the way to do it. Scourge it up. Boom! Take that, you fried turkey! We got your deep fried turkey is mine. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I don't think we actually get to play with the turkey. I think we literally get those things I already had. Here is my giant turkey. And those potatoes look good. And we got the ice giant fighting off against the lava golem in lava which doesn't make a whole lot of sense but oh they just go right through it they're fighting over to the thanksgiving dinner who will be victorious we must be just slapping each other in the face we need a big ice and lava like battle going on in here like with babies and stuff to and then they can share a tiny little tiny thanksgiving helping of turkey unless of course we just make tons of turkey the ice golems were just here in their icy domain getting ready for a nice thanksgiving feast <laughs> some of the world's largest vegetables and fruits you've ever seen and then all of a sudden the lava golems invaded trying to melt their world and eat their food who will be victorious who will get the oh they move all right, those things move is kind of interesting. We've got some weird stuff going on over here. And I actually don't think anything's going to happen because I totally forget that even though they're smaller, they just slap each other. And that's pretty much how it goes. The sky is on fire. And there's a whole bunch of undead and weird things here to try to defeat the volcano beast himself, simply known as death he's here to try to defend his kingdom from these invading undead weird things will he be able to do it i actually have no idea i have to imagine that he's gonna get absolutely destroyed but then again it is a oh it's getting wrecked it's just there's a there's there's more on the way <laughs> It's brothers and his babies are here to try to also attack and defend. I think now that we have five of them, they're going to be able to do this. Then again, I've, I've been surprised many times and I can't quite seem to get things right. Look at this. This is awesome looking. Oh, the oh, yep. They won. Okay. The Megalodon went down. Dude, the lava world is sweet. I like this scene of the volcano in the background. It makes it makes it feel more uh, like legit in the lava. Fighting on lava is pretty cool too. Well, you guys are have to let me know what you think of uh, this update and if you are able to defeat the turkey yourself. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is a quick little update of what's happening in Arbus Mobile. Arbus Mobile is always constantly getting updates. I kind of wish that PC would get that as well, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We still have all this stuff still going on too. Got the turkey thing. We got the Halloween stuff you can do still. Did I? Oh, I gotta, I gotta claim that over here. And we also have the gifts that you can get. Like these skins came back. And these, what do you pick? You pick two of them? How, what, how much does this cost? Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Click one of the two videos you're about to see. And I'll see you next time.